Well, at least you can put this um, local recording in YouTube or something. You should really burn that one because it was terrible. Oh, it doesn't matter. It, it's okay. No, oh, because the problem is that we're, we're all pretty annoyed at the, the streaming because it's, it's very choppy. Yeah. Are we recording right now or? I don't know. Okay. All right. Yeah, it's all right, man. It doesn't matter. We we agreed that would be a lazy task anyway, so it's fine. Uh, a club match or what? No, uh, just look at me. Join through me in France. Yeah, password. Uh, yeah, two pickup. Okay. That doesn't matter. Okay, so, um, Granary, probably the best soldier map in the game. Yeah. Both teams have pretty good soldiers death match wise. I um, think it's I think it's scout or a good map. I would I would probably bet on choice to take this map easily. It's not scout orientated, you jump on crazy and shoot down. Uh yeah, but uh easy soldiers, so Oh, that's true. Um yeah. okay, so for those of you that can't see the fucking little readout on the screen, um, we've joined the Taiwanese server and this is this is the kind of where we're going to see what the measure of masterful is. They got, uh, and I'm not going to say lucky because that doesn't do anyone a service, but mm -hmm. they did. They they had a very fortunate situation to play the Taiwanese guys, where mm -hmm. as Zuan just said, two of them were on 200 ping, and uh, I think the lowest ping player for the Taiwanese guys was still like higher than the end guys. <laughs> so um ping do have skills so like fuck eighty fuck. <laughs> yeah, eighty ping, oh my god, how do you win on eighty ping? It's not as if you could ever win soldier awards on eighty ping. No, fuck <laughs> Okay, so this is going to be Yeah, okay. Um this is gonna be a real measure for him. If they get rolled on this it's going to be very bad for them because they barely won out with a significant ping advantage on the last map. So you gotta truly show their uh their uh weak points. Their metal. Particularly their mental strength, because I mean we're gonna talk about this a lot in this cast because it's the biggest criticism anyone has of them. The problem has never been their execute um not execution okay. The problem has never been their mechanical skill, it has always been their decision making and their understanding of the game. Yeah. And, and even then you could say that their game understanding isn't so much bad as it is bad under pressure. Yep. I, I would probably okay. like I said I'd probably bet on the the choice scouts. Mm, I would bet on the choice soldiers, kennel and peanut on under fifty ping each. True. I mean forty ping. Or right in now, yeah. terms, yeah. M are going to get loved tenderly. <laughs> yes, yeah, true. Okay, let's uh, go through. Well, this. we've got six on choice, so we can probably start and actually give them a bit of an analysis. Okay, so, so choice. Um, kennel. With kennel. Okay, this guy is. Ba you know that guy that you just play against. That guy, the guy that just knows when your medic is low as yeah. a scout or soldier, the guy that can play any class. Yeah. You, you may know him as yeah, I'm Yuki Intel, you may know him as uh, um, Benny, but he's basically just a person that seems to have a very a very good micro of his own game. He, he tends to make good decisions, uh, uh, well, by the standards of the Asian scene, he makes good decisions. He's, yeah. um, he's a very goblin player, if you're familiar with the word goblin, it's what I think most uh, players would call Jewish. He's, he's very good at uh, catching you off guard, doing the unexpected, getting on your head. He has good death match. He can play anything. So John Holly um, and, and uh, yeah, he fucks shit up at hugs. So. Yeah, good player. he's a he's a death matcher, and he's not he's not a scholar. I, I wouldn't say he's intelligent at tier two, but he has good instincts. Uh, and, and he has good instincts. He's probably good the best way to put it. Yep. Good aim, good instincts. Knows when to do the right thing most of the time. Yeah. Um, okay, so Boo Boo Cha Cha, we've talked a bit about this guy. He's just a pretty solid medic. Um, He's a solid medic. He drops, he drops Boo Boo sometimes under pressure, um, but what Ned doesn't. And that could be as much due to the fact that Choice are a mixed team, so we won't. Um, XBO. Okay, he's one of top soldier demo, I think. Yeah, he's a, he's a good demo. Um, he's, he's fast on rollout. Fast on rollouts, good damage. Um, what, I like about this guy is, say, I guess, yeah. what I like about this guy is his creativity. He's quite quite creative. And, really? and that's okay. going to come into play on this map because uh, Summer is not a creative demo. Um, 
Okay, then so now we've got Dohash. Dohash, yeah. Yep. Dohash okay. is crazy. Um, he idolizes the uh, fucking Nozi or a bro. Um, the the a lot of things. He's, uh, the best way I can say it is that he carries on the long tradition of Japanese scouts having good movement yep. and questionable aim. It's very between how the fuck did he just two shot me and, oh yeah. look, a fly, let me swap. Yep, good, good movement patterns and all that. Yeah. And uh, uh, nobody, we don't really know much about Zoan, um, no, no other than he played pretty goddamn well last map. Uh, yeah, did pretty good. He was in the top of the quarter. Okay, so, okay. M. Um, right. Oh, okay, M. Uh, M, whoever the fuck, all the way down to whoever the fuck, deathmatch monster, no brain. Yeah. On a more serious note, okay, we've got top up easy link. Um, I thought he'd play demo. Mm. Um, He's a, I mean, I don't know, he, he can aim, and that's all we really, he can aim, that's what we know about him, and he, uh, de- decision making is going to be that question mark. George, I understand that he's like one of the biggest MG heroes in Singapore, well, I don't know. Well, it clearly shows uh, why he's uh, suffering a lot of friends. Yeah, um, all we really know is that this guy is a, uh, a deathmatching monster. Um, mm-hmm. Well, actually, he's not even a deathmatch monster, an MG monster, but that doesn't guarantee you're going to be quality at all. Um, yep. And he really struggled last map. He, u- uh, he usually does, he's usually a bit of frag um, mm-hmm. So he'll be a player to watch if you want to If you want to watch guys and be like, hmm, is this guy making the right decision, the wrong decision? Um, Pinkie Pie <laughs> is basically a gunboat's hero. I'm, uh, I may cop something for all that one, but I don't particularly will think much of him. Um, I think he seems to depend on gunboats. He's playing yeah. shotgun. Well, what I think about the two, the two masterful soldiers is that they're all about self-preservation than about teamwork. Yeah, I wouldn't even say that. I would just say they're about dumb, like dumb and dumber. Um, I see George die a lot when he shouldn't be dying, and I see Pinkie Pie trying to live when he shouldn't be living. And yep. in here is a... As probably the closest thing to have an average player. He's not a standout in any one area, but yeah. he probably thinks more than their other players. Probably. So we're going on first mid fight. They have press, obviously, uh, to drop like a press uber. <laughs> I mean, better. Good heals. Good heals, though, and has a tendency to back up players. The prop, uh, uh, press is 10... She's 90% very good play, 10% airhead moment because she gets yeah. nervous. Yeah. yeah. So first rollout in summer. We didn't talk about summer. We'll talk about summer after. Yeah, we'll talk about it. Um, we'll see how it all sorts of pain going on for uh, masterful actually. This is a good med. They fucked up. They fucked up ten bomb and. Try to go for the demo at first. Oh, ten, ten. No, 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 no. Looks like uh, by the looks of things. They have one hit, and with a four. Yeah, they've won it with a four player advantage. Yeah, yeah Summer's good at defending himself. Um, and so they're holding out. And there's enough of a player advantage. Uh, one soldier. No, 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 never mind. But um, so we're holding out. And we can talk yeah. a bit about Summer. Summer, deathmatch machine at any class. Like, more than anything, he epitomizes the word fragger. Oh, no, never mind. They have a broken right. The problem with Summer is that he is probably too selfish with his life. And his rollouts are really questionable at times. Which is yeah. Maybe he's just nerves. Like it could, it could very well be nerves. And when we talk about M, keep mm-hmm. in mind that a lot of what we think of them is their ability to handle pressure. Because if these guys could perform the way they do when they're when they're in MG or in scrims, they would probably never lose to anyone. But next yeah. year in a bar. All right, they get a choice to pop their Uber first. Unfortunately, they lost George to do it, and he shouldn't have been dead. So, the one player advantage to... Oh, panel. Oh, can he get the demo? No, he can't. Um, significant player advantage to M, and they should wipe this because we've got players distracting, but... Oh, my God. Ladies and gentlemen, look at this. Right there, okay. So, you had Pinkie Pie and Amir go for a coordinated play on the enemy medic with a one player advantage, and you had the combo of masterful having fallen all the way up back to mid instead of contesting with this com- combined Jew on fourth point inside. So there you go. That's, ladies and gentlemen, another example of why masterful are not the team they should be. While two of their players are for once having the initiative to make a coordinated play on the enemy med, their combo is fucked off when they could have wiped the enemy instantly and capped the point. With an uber event, masterful in a nutshell. So, I mean, both teams are holding... Courtyards. 
uh, courtyard third for Marcel and courtyard second for everyone's favourite mixed team full of um, nerds. And uh, George goes and gets himself killed because he can't even look and notice the demo is right next to it. So one player down for each game. Right. Oh my god, George. And uh, you may be noticing a thing developing if you're an astute watcher that George has gotten has gone and got himself killed first yep. of his team in every single uber push. And as a result of this, the good old choice might might not have the death matching power, but they're responding with, we're going to push you out and take mid. XDO is <laughs> like, no back cap for you, Amir. Go away. <laughs> Uh, they're holding middle. I mean, this is more or less what I expected. I expected them to come out on top with some faster rollouts and her. <laughs> we pray this game way too much. But well, all right, well, they sure. haven't done anything meaning with it. Yeah, Peanut got done by a surprise sticky trap. Okay, we'll see how they hold it. The watch on the right side. Masterful should. Wow, they're actually trying to push a soldier down. This all is right. very ambitious. Well, okay, Drew is going to. Okay, press safe. They're going to get. They're going to get fucked. For no, no, no. If they don't, oh, Prince, right? She left Jord on too low HP because yeah. of her in the class of Vivian, right? Yeah. Hey. They should have pushed and uh, killed the thieves, two guys in front. Yeah, but oh, oh well, well pushing the back so position. Trouble. Yeah. Yep. No awareness. All of the players yeah. just sitting there holding their dick. Yep. Like literally doing nothing. Yep. And <laughs> what <did> you do? <laughs> well. <laughs> And in this big death match fight, Peanut might just come out on top. I really hope he does. Yes. The soldiers can on Peanut versus the lone enemy demo. They should get him. They will get him. Nope, never mind. Scout shows up. Reinforcement. Peanut gets the demo. So, He's all right. Uh, uh, Shadow did enough just so that Taco could kill Peanut. Pretty good trade, yes. I guess. Uh, well, I mean, uh, both teams ended up holding, so nobody won. Nobody really lost. Yeah. Although you could say that M would be mad because it's really hard to get onto third unless you want. Well, Twitch has got control of the earth, so we'll see. Yeah, actually, yeah. When you think about it, Twitch did one uh, win. Yeah. They yeah. managed to take courtyard, so yeah. my bad. Alright, and now they're pushing this little scale on alright. Two scouts are walking so stairs. One thing that's kind of telling is in every single situation so far, Choice has played the post Uber play a lot better. On top of Jord deciding that it's a good idea to get himself killed before the Uber goes off, of course. Yeah. I mean, this is this is telling though. Um, Peanut playing oh, not with the combo. I'm surprised. Um, okay, so here's the problem. I, I I think it's because Kennel played heavy last, so. Oh, probably. I think they're trying to get a scout from Masterful to make a mistake. Well, yeah. I mean, they're both waiting around. There, there we go. There, okay, there. Got it. They, okay, so the moment they get that kill, they have started. Oh, and they yeah, can get the as well. Okay, good. Excellent, excellent response. Well by, done, by um, Mark yeah, well done, they, No, well done, Mark as well. His the his um, um, got the scout of left side, and then um, yes, but Peanut also died a second later. You missed that. Yeah, and but, um, George Deathmatch should win this for them. Oh my God, that's the one situation you need to clutch, George, and you choked yeah. completely. <laughs> oh, pretty good by XDO. <laughs> oh, XDO. Trying to pan the scout. Oh dear. Oh dear. Alright, she's gonna go down. Right. So, um. Nothing much won or lost or gained again. Both yeah. Looking like they're gonna hold the same position until they started. Um, yeah. no, I thought both I, teams I honestly thought that. I honestly thought that Choice was that, uh, that push. Cause they got a well, they're winning this team. one. They just pushed right, uh, left side strong with their combo and got three kills from us. What the hell? Why? Why must have wanted the right side? I don't get it. Uh, they were. What? What? Choice did, and this kind of shows the difference in I don't know, a randomism or maybe just actual thinking about the game ability. Mm -hmm. uh, what the Choice guys realised was because their med was. They, they had heals, basically. They had the advantage of overheals, and M didn't. And they pushed very quickly, caught players out of position, and killed them. Uh, well, Unfortunately, I'll let's deal with the aggressive demo. Here to George. Yeah. Oh, great pipe. I'm a little bit disappointed in well, M for giving that up. Yeah. Awful amazing, amazing dodging by Zua. Alright, we got the medic as well. It's their game now. Uh, right. Excellent dodging by Bubba Chachi. Yeah. Yeah. The guard is their game. 
Individual. Oh, okay, yeah. Pina, Pina, <laughs> with an Uber. Oh, oh wow, the so one time he's a yeah. Okay, so that's 1-0, and um, I feel like my opinion... Yeah. Masterful may have lots of deathmatch power in their soldiers, but so do choice. They're so um, restless, they don't hold their positions, they don't go or nothing. Yeah, and I mean, both teams are playing sloppy, like they get player advantage and their players go to forward and die, but... Yeah. Um, I don't know why. Probably the calling of Boo Boo, if they can all understand him. I don't know. Can he, can he speak, Devin? But um, no. just better play from the uh, chat choice on post Uber, which is where a lot of the games are going to be lost. Yeah. Don't understand. It's like oh, we don't have proper understanding of the meta game. XDO is just like, Hoya! I'm <laughs> going to kill everything. Excellent. Now, yeah, this is what he's doing. One one thing that's worth thinking about is Summer won the last rollout, oh, but well, he didn't on, actually do anything. Look at Kettle. He's, Where is he? He's got the scout uh, block. Oh, yeah, small player team. advantage. Look at that. Oh, nice. Hold on, but Three Kettle. player advantage. So if M attempt to hold the server, they're in all sorts of pain. Wow, they want to um, be okay. They want to be aggressive, right? This really, like, that, that Summer won the last uh, fight on mid. He didn't yep. do a lot with it. They won kind of because um, what basically they tried right, to kill Summer and play a secret. Chris failed to, uh, to, yeah. fail to heal Summer. Yeah, she dropped her players and because Boo Boo didn't. They now have significant player yeah. advantage. This is the post Boo Boo situation. Peanut has high pinky pie meanwhile. Hyde yeah, didn't take the post but Hyde will finish. But uh, that mid-fight, XCO, this is what Summer did, tends to do when he wins mid-fight. He tends to kind of put stickies in places and be boring. This is what XCO does when he wins mid. You see that guy that's fucking too forward? I'm going to double pipe him. There's a sort of aggression and a cockiness with XCO's play that is ridiculous. It doesn't matter, yep. it doesn't matter if he's over It's like, I'm going to go and I'm going to fuck you up because you shouldn't be there. And Summer doesn't do that. And Summer yep. may get a lot of frags, but XCO when he's ten both mids, really, just because he's, like, aggressive and decides and shit. Peanut right. doesn't man, he should get him. Peanut doesn't miss those rockets. Uh, but Demo goes down for Bye, a okay. masterful outfit. This is all going to be about Ken Kennel and the Scout to keep that medic alive. No, someone well, gets him. Excellent, excellent Scout skill by Zulon. Two this one Scout. Oh, yeah. But look at that. They walked out of that. Death Nat shit fight where the scouts came out. Well, it, it kind of proves our point that soldiers and scouts are uh, going to be the the difference for a uh, choice. And I don't think Pinkie Pie, George, uh, either are doing a good job of keeping themselves alive. Uh, yeah. Kennel died late for that rollout. Peanut was able to stay alive and tie up George for a long time there. So it was about the, the, the micro ability of those players to stay yeah. alive when they needed to be. Um, and yeah. George blew himself up. Um, in <laughs> trying to bomb something instead of taking height and shooting down. Yep. And again, it's like MGE. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> well said. I wonder what they're going to be here. Let's see. Uh, Masterful. Um, or the whole before. What? Why did Emmer die? Why would you push like that? Um, I don't think there's anything wrong, to be honest. One thing that um, one of the best players in Australia talks a lot about, though, is what we call free death. These are okay. kind of deaths. These are situations where you're, you have no real disadvantage if you attack, if you do something like go spy, try and pick the med, pop forward an enemy, scout, try and pop the medic. In that situation, Emir had nothing to lose, because even if he died, it would have been very, very difficult for the advantage to be used by um, choice. So it, was, it wasn't a free death in the sense that all of you people out there should throw your lives away, it's just... Uber fight yeah. happens for last, and I think yeah. then they're going to come out on top with damage. Uh, Chris Uber did early. Chris Uber did early. Oh my god. Oh wow. And he got pressed with those stickies. Oh, of course, you're doing something come on. Awesome, but come on, Chris. You really had to look. Chris walked into those stickies for no reason. That was sloppy by Chris. <laughs> she walked back with you. Um, <laughs> oh, uh, when we say free death, we, we, we need to make it very clear that we don't say you can throw your life away, but it's a situation where the risk-reward analysis, the percentage play, how much are you going to lose, how much are you going to win, is Emma completely sure. fucking free push sure. the last, and I dare say the uh, choice boys might pass off this, they might. They have a uh, three-player advantage, and those two players are not going to be coming up for 10 seconds. Yeah, they're going to cap off this. Well, they, well, they almost they don't cap off this, I'm going to hit someone. They're going to cap off this. Well... 
why they almost won that previous uh, last push was that they Ubered X Deer first, he did a lot of damage, sticking him onto the pipe, went back into the apartments, and then went on top of the pipe, and then uh, yeah, they decided to put Stiggy's on the pipe. awareness and player tracking yeah. from M. They didn't realize the enemy yeah. demo was alive. Exactly. And I think. I think this kind of shows the lack of ability from the M guys to think about the game correctly. This yep. is what Summer would have done in that exact situation. Oh my god, oh my god, my team is dead, I'm running away, I'm staying alive. XBO goes, my team is dead, I'm going to fuck it in the eyeball. <laughs> and it worked. Yep. So, yeah, right, another complete wipe. This is about to go down for M. Like, oh. And well, complete wipeout. And Peanut gets the med again. Peanut has just been the medic hunter the whole game. I don't know what he's playing, Pocket Roma, whatever the fuck. He's like the medic instead. I love it. I'm yeah. a Japanese death bed hero. Get at me. And they're doing perfectly two scouts are tapping metal and they're going to push last. Two of the scouts catch up with them. I like this because they're thinking about pushing, but they're yeah. waiting. They're waiting, it's exactly. The, it's that ability to go, you know what? We're not masterful. Yeah. We're just going to chill it for a second. We're just going to go, okay, okay, we're going to vanish. Let's not panic. But they're pushing you from yeah. the They're really from the The Chris is dead. They're going to kill more shit, I hope. Yep. Yes, they've killed two people. They've lost two people. This should be actually quite messy. They have heals also in this post super play. So again, look at that. The medics and the demo all out to meet up with the only soldier. <laughs> I don't even care about his dodging. Nobody cares about his dodging. The fact is he was in the right place at the right time. Yep. Pick up his soldier. They walk in, they gap, but they go for it. You, like, and, I mean, I don't know if this is just a choice for better players. I don't know if it's because they're more experienced players, but their reaction to all sorts of really basic situations is good. Hey, we killed their medic. Our medic is still alive. We have overhealed players. Back off slowly. Don't let them attack us. Kill them if they do and re-push your heals. It's real basic stuff that they're getting down right. And I guess they end up kind of not choking, but reacting badly and screwing it up. You can call that choking if you like. As Peanut goes med hunting again and is denied this time. Oh dear, Jordan, one combo versus an entire enemy team. We know how that's going to end. XBO again. It's like me. Is XBO just wiping his med fire? Or is he is he just simply being so much more aware of the situation? Or is it his team? It's, I haven't been paying enough attention, but it just looks like XBO is all over the place with damage. Is he faster? Are his stickies more direct? Is it, is it a damage thing or is it just that his team is supporting him and they're in the right place at the right time and he can do what someone can? Oh dear, too forward there, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, 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 get, I get a feeling that, because I feel like Summer is a strong player and I feel, feel like his, his aim and his, his firepower shouldn't be losing to XBO. So I think it's, it's probably not that Summer is getting out demoed in the fight. Probably more that uh, the moment XBO has an advantage, he's really working that, that advantage he has, that, um, that judgment he has that the the uh, M guys don't, yeah. and just getting in there and destroying. Where are people going to shoot when they don't even matter, I think. Yeah. Oh, this, this, this. Doesn't even matter, really. Oh, wow. Wow, okay. Uh, okay. So close. <laughs> All the way these kids press talk, and you know what's amazing about it, Choice, is that all their, um, their, the squad is a, a mixture of Japanese, Korean, Taiwanese, and Hong Kong players. So just imagine their uh, communication. They probably don't really have any. And this article is called Sudan! Maybe Sudan with Stokash in his tiny voice. Capital <laughs> Sudan! No, but the ladies and gentlemen, their, don't their communication, their, their comms are a lot more. Um, oh wow, Pinkie Pie got beautiful than Singaporean and Manchester. I wouldn't, even, I wouldn't even say that it's um, comms, it's probably just Judgment. the automatic processes that yeah. the, the choice guys are doing seem to be so much better right now. They're making better decisions as individual players. Dohash is going to get wow. Nobody picked up Dohash. And look at that, they've all turned around. Oh. They've got the medic as well, no doubt. So for those of you that missed the individual micro attack, Dohash knew that the med was low, picked him off, and then the entire team of 
choice committed to attempt to win the point. Now, in the result in death match, shit first, they mm -hmm. didn't it's stop the point out, it's but they have a significant amount It's never a complete out. loss. It's never like a complete uh, loss of the ground. They always get a trade. It's always a trade kill. Hmm. From that situation, they were actually at a full med disadvantage and a two, uh, I think a two player disadvantage. They had, they committed, uh, Dohash got the med, and the moment the med died, everyone in M turned around, every single person, mm -hmm. and I don't think it would have been called because I just, I think the language gap would have been a bit much, but mm -hmm. I think the moment everyone in choice saw that med die, they all fucking jumped in, and his, 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 his just shows whether the med is the better player. They all yep. jumped in from different angles. They all jumped to different points and they all shot down. Yeah, that's pretty good. Oh, well, look at that. Joe Hash can try to play aggressively in the art, but his team was already, like, uh, behind playing defensively. Uh, I've got better, uh, I've got better and, and as, 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 Rep, as Rep would say, this is the sort of thing that you would expect give two players to get down right, and he's right. It yeah. really should be it really should be an automatic thought process in any good player's head. Then medical yeah. side from behind is a chance to go in. But I don't think Emma I don't think Emma uh, like did you see that? They, they they they, wait, did you see that though? They passed Uber and, and on the fourth point just to just so that they could cap the point, which was kind of a waste in my opinion. Uh, was it forced? I didn't actually see I don't it. think it was forced, but they just popped Uber just so that they could cap it. I thought that was pretty bad. More. Furthermore, of course, let's assume that it was, let's assume that it was pop, ladies and gentlemen. Mm -hmm. How many times have M managed to force Choice's Uber when Choice have got the point cap for sure? Not many, I think, not many. And, and, and this is M's probably, oh god, it's just well, fucked it up here. Yeah, so on, so on with the fucking meat shot, it's amazing. They had, two, they had two player advantage there. They were pushing in, and Jordan decides to push in without a full over here and get fucked just, up. By just look at the choice players. Yeah. They're always checking their back. They're always watching out for the teammates. They never push alone. And Master Pro looks like they're playing in a tunnel. It's always a tunnel there. <laughs> Shit, man. It's like they're always on the funny We were playing against Matrix, and we were always surprised. Like, how the, why the fuck are these guys not getting completely raped? But clearly, uh, there we go. Made it down. Made down. Made down. Made down. I look at the now, punch, she makes it food, ladies, ladies and gentlemen, this is, this is where you're going to see the difference between... Because it's... Choice to shoot the but they team down, they have a full over advantage. They have capped the third. They're pushing in second, they're going to take it. They're going to be attacking last with a 15... Yeah, picky punch will shoot Uber They're 4 nil up, with yep. 9 minutes left, it's pretty yep. much guaranteed. But here's, here's kind of the constant, the subtlety that people miss. Yep. Next map is going to come, and there's going to be a huge bitch fest about the server. The server and I yeah. would be quite, I would be quite happy to bet money that the choice of oh, amazing good of Mexico is like no picky pie, go away. And it wouldn't surprise me at all. Oh yes, I think yes. Am I going to lose this? They're going to yeah. be out five nil. Well done, but don't have. Oh, well, maybe not. George gets the rocket. No, no, no. They'll hold it. They'll hold it. Probably going to roll my breath. Left to try and cap four points. Yep. No chance. Um, one of the problems was that we saw we saw a big amount of bitching from the end guys about the server. Oh my god, 75 choke. Oh my god, oh my god. Now, look, I'm not going to get into a condition of whether playing on this server is worse for them than playing on the server was for the XDO guys. Well, well, you see that by doing that. Look at Bill Hash. Fucking bar. Now look, I'm not going to get into the discussion of who's got <laughs> worse situation because we can have a huge debate about that and, and yeah. nobody's ever really going to be happy. Their things are not even that bad. Oh well, we'll see what happens now. But, uh, but it's not a... Sorry? Now look, I didn't see... It's, it's about how you respond to bad situations. Now I didn't see the first part. I didn't see the first half of the, the Badlands match. Maybe there was a huge bitch fest about the servers and pink and stuff. I have no idea. But the way that M plays and the way that the the boys in um, Choice play, mm -hmm. I, I just I get this kind of feeling that the Choice guys really didn't complain that much about the pink. They were like, whatever the fuck. Yeah, they don't care. Like, that's part of the problem as well. Uh, uh, Forgot the phrase you use. Um, Excuses. It's not that. It's just um, the Singaporean teams uh, uh, have this 
he was a self-entitlement, I think. Well, I'm not going to get into any of that discussion because I don't know anything about it. And I'd like to make it very clear to everyone on the stream that, again, we don't know whether or not there was a bitch fest over the first server. What we're saying is that the way that mm -hmm. Choice approached this whole thing, they, were kind of, they, they basically kind of did this. Oh, okay. Well, okay. Yeah, the, the server shit for you. This first server was shit for us. Just yeah. fucking play. That's yeah. their attitude. It's like, okay, well, it's not the best situation, but man the fuck up and play the game. Or lady the fuck up and play the game. Or yeah. transvestite the fuck up and play the game. Yeah. The point is, they just want to get the next game on. And, yeah. um, I mean, I, I guess we're, we're, doing really a bit of fucking, we're doing a whole lot of, like, reading way too much into this shit, maybe. I don't know. We're doing, like, some psychoanalysis yeah. shit. But <laughs> I think just. if a team <laughs> If, if a team responds with, wow, wow, the server is bad for us, and the other team goes, yeah, whatever the fuck, let's just get this on. And if you look at the way that Masterful played on the server that was bad for them, mm -hmm. and the way that Choice played on the server that was bad for them, Choice yeah. simply seemed to be coming at it. I don't know, I just I just feel like if you could listen to their mumble right now, this would be the Choice mumble. This is fucking translated. Okay. Oh, yeah. Man, oh, ping is so hard. Look at that. We fucking trashed them. We played on a server that we were We trashed them. We're so good at this game. Well, we're going to well they're complaining about already matchable people. But if, if I was matchable, I would, I would uh, take this as, um, as practice because it's still an online cup. It doesn't matter if we want to lose. And uh, I'm yeah. thinking they're all probably going to participate in the TF2 Masters. So they should give it, give it a go roll and try not to... I mean, I, I can't help feel like the masterful mumble would be very tense now, and I mm -hmm. think I think it would be very tense, mm -hmm. and I think there would be a fair... Like, I think mm -hmm. they would just be going, sh like, they fucking raped us, like, holy yeah. shit. Um, okay. and, and, I mean, this... We, we said, you know, this is where we'd see the Medal of Masterful, and, and in a bad situation survives for them, they got mm -hmm. absolutely stomped. Like, it wasn't, uh, you know, it was, uh, it it was wasn't a death match. It was nothing, it, yeah. it, well, it, I don't think it was a name problem, because no, I think not. it was a simple, it, well, I mean, maybe it was. Maybe they all had terrible position, but I don't, yeah. it didn't, from a spectator's perspective, it didn't look like ping was their problem. It looked like it, the decision making. So, I mean, maybe they, they had a good little comeback on the first map where they made some good decisions and clutched that out 4-3. Mm -hmm. um, but, uh, again, this is, this is what we've talked about. This is uh, Masterful's ability to win under pressure. They're not very good at it. This is probably Masterful's timing as well because uh, I think they're used to the timing and, and the pub matches where uh, people do random stuff. But when it comes to actual games, the timing is a lot slower, but it also can be a lot faster at times, so they're not used to it. Mm. And I think it's probably worth reflecting that when it's all said and done, you've got a mixed team consisting of the core callers and leaders of probably one of the few Asian teams to come from a very grassroots, terrible Div 10 shitty idiots up to a position as a decent Div 1 team. And, and that's what Matrix did. And Vugu, Cha Cha, XBO and Kennel were probably the three that you always were always kind of Matrix. They were Matrix more than anyone, or yeah. well, Luxy as well, but those yeah. three guys are kind of the ones we all knew. They, they, they were there in Matrix as long as I remember, yeah. as long as we, as long as um, I, I would play against them um, mm -hmm. in, in Prey, against this. But they, they were always there, they were always present. They, they are Matrix. Yeah. And I think they are Matrix for a lot of people, and they probably have that teamwork that comes from a lot of blame. That's true. And the thing is, if and you watch these guys in pubs, uh, if you see choice players when they play pubs, they're not afraid to try new things. They, they will, um, basically, they don't give a fuck if they've got one HP. They're still going to try to do something funny. And that's the right thing. Yeah. The right thing, right thing but in, in, a, in a new way, I guess. <clears throat> and the other players that are in this lineup. Uh, actually, no, Zuloan is also Matrix, isn't he? So he's apparently a Matrix player. So all sure players right. in this team are from Matrix. Well, well we think all mm -hmm. players are Matrix. But let's look at the last two players that we have in there. Peanut and Dohash. Okay, right. Dohash is pretty good. And Peanut is the only soldier who... Is, my understanding of things is pretty much the only soldier in history that's been considered good enough to play for XQ that wasn't an XQ soldier. L let's watch him so now. Let's watch Peanut now and see. Kung Fu Panda with the spy, disgusting. Ah, uh, this guy is the best uh, spy in Singapore. Probably yeah, all of but Asia. he's playing against a good team. Yeah. Alright. Just keep watching Peanut for a few minutes here. 
Amazing damage. Oh, Kennel just jumps in, mops the damage. Such good awareness. Like, he just jumped in at the right time. Uh, easy one. Here we go. And then, ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, this is why Spy is useless. Kung Fu Panda got a soldier kill after his team had lost the rollout. What a magnificent player. Kung Fu Panda winning the game. Like, <laughs> He's going to have to do more than that, and this yeah. is where it gets difficult to do so against a good team with good comps that's been around for a while. He has do you want to watch him a little bit? Yeah, you can spec him. Okay, let's we'll spec him. It's five or six for all out, as you pointed out, and you need to get an enormous pick. Oh, yeah. wow, what the fuck, Joe? Alright, let's watch Pedersi. They're, right. they're trying to pull Super with their whole team. What the hell am I I don't understand this at all. They just jumped in three players in an attempt to pop Uber, and then they Ubered in anyway. That makes no sense. No, it just looks like a suicide. Yeah, but did you look at Panda? <laughs> he backstabbed the enemy once they had an Uber. So what happened was, what happened was the soldier flew all the way to the sky. Huh. So I didn't that. Oh man, alright, okay. Just going to put a shout out to Mr. Mu who said, Hi, you carry. I see you made the final step and are now playing with Asians too. When's the big day? <laughs> I look forward to cuddling you and crushing your tiny insides when we meet in real life, Mr. Mu. <laughs> and no, again, wow. Look at Whoa. that. They hold in the bad they hold in a bad spot and the and Exio, Ken or yeah. Peanut are like, no, we're just going to take a big bunch of rock oh they're, they're going to try and spawn camp them are they? Oh yeah, oh. yeah. <laughs> I'm just a spawn and camp. next year here comes like Leo is trying to go city up. Oh he got surprised by a man. Yeah. This is bad bad for our yeah. Yeah. Uh, 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 choice are gonna get white. Ladies and gentlemen, stammer with the phone. Oh wow. Boo goes down late, very bad situation. Now we get to see what M's got. They've got a Crits Krieg. They do love Crits Krieg in summer. Summer's a very good demo of Crits. What you got? Show what you got for me. Next year's gonna get stabbed here. No, he's not. He's going to kill Kung Fu Panda, or not. They're going to circle. No, he's gonna get. There we go. Exio, hitting pipes after missing pipes. Oh my god, Exio has just got. Oh, shit! Yes, he wasted the entire room himself. And, uh, ladies and gentlemen, another example of why M are just not a very solid team today. They tried to solo crits in a demo and had no soldier or scout following the net along. So it was, the medic died pointlessly and the crits were wasted. Yeah, APX, And teams are kind of swapping players from the point, uh, XVO haven't capped, but they're still holding, and, oh, M looking like they're going to cap, they have 2 minutes and 13 seconds to hold it for, and they've got about 25 seconds, if they don't cap it, till they lose. Oh, Kennel's like, no, Pinkie Pie, don't jump with my medic. In and looking like they're going to do it. Neither team. Oh wait, no, the Uber goes off and they've managed to get a two-player advantage with Peanut responding a lot faster than the M guys will be. They should take this. I hope. It's all down to what Summer can do with his Uber. He gets one kill. Oof. Ah, M might well hold this. Summer hitting some good. Nut, he gets ten. And we have choice, almost guaranteed to. At this point, yes, and then you have to hold it for 21 seconds. They got a full team and a minor Uber advantage. What are Masterful going to do? Well, they've already lost one player, and Kung Fu Panda has gone spy so they're down. To and he dislokes in full view of Exio, who's like, No, I like killing you, you're bad. Duh. So that's 1 0 round for uh, everyone's favourite setup. 
choice. Oh god, yes, Stan, I just go there, okay. You should do some talking. Right, so mid fight's going on. Panda is probably going to prove himself useless again as Spy, as by the looks of things, Choice has won it. Yep, they have certainly won this mid fight. Well, they had the play advantage to do so, and they're capping. Oh, Dohash goes down to the Spy Knife of Kung Fu Panda. Summary pushes him at the right time, manages to get the demo kill. Still fighting to the point. We have a lot of control points. The Uber of the Vichach has been popped and looks like we're going to see him go off an end. Oh, which unfortunately is kind of gone off right in their worst whatever, right forward in front. Oh, they've countered, they've killed. Full player advantage, combo, enemy combo down, both soldiers and the scout, they're capping. Um, is this M first map? I actually have no idea. As XPO's forward hold manages to get Three players with no advantage whatsoever. Oh, oh that's cool. So, Choice have to hold for 2 minutes 25, M are capping, and there's 234, 230. Choice is going to push them off and cap again. Oh my god, and they're so slow to fall out. This is another problem that M have that show they really don't think about the game correctly. They were so slow to fall out of a bad situation, and as a result, despite having... Um, they would, would have had an advantage in a few seconds. They lost so many players, that's a disadvantage. Oh god, not this idiot. <laughs> Both people were on the point. Yeah. Both teams are a bit on the point, but oh, Peanut's aggression is too bad. He just forced M all the way back into a spam zone, and now Kennel's jumping in to solve this up. This is another thing that M really aren't very good at. They have bad interviews, and I think it's because their soldiers again aren't thinking about the game correctly. I really, really like what's happened now because M are under so much more pressure. They're having to give up ground in their bloody side of the field. All because Peanut Super forced their soldiers back. The soldiers took a little bit more damage. A little bit more damage meant they had to back off even further. And this, what this all means is Air Meridian yeah. sitting in their backyard with one minute left to cap this and no advantage. That's what I've seen. I've played three right players a few times and they're always playing defensive. Sometimes you just got to push and pop and force and They're going to something. lose their medic. Yeah. Wow. And it's just kind of Maybe they don't. One thing that's worth thinking about on Viaduct is that you it, it's rather like Gravel Pet in that if, if you want to cap the point, Oh yeah, yeah. You what are they doing? Why are they trying to push with Uber like alone? That's okay. Oh yeah. they have two player advantage, they have two yeah. player advantage. Okay. That's that's okay. all right. And they, they should push the push right. cap. Okay. Yes they do, they get the med. Good med pet again. So to get the 20, they've, they've got 20 seconds left to cap, but they're going to cap, and they have to hold for 2 minutes and 30 seconds. Oh, Pinkie Pie and Summit lots of kills coming in. Yes, good change. One of the things that you need to understand when you play this map correctly, I think one of the best teams in the world at it are actually Australia's own back of the bus community. They both play this, the, the King of the Hill map amazingly well. Mm -hmm. And one thing that they understand and they're very aware of is that if you're attacking, so if you haven't got the point cap, you have an enormously fast form. And that yeah. means that you've got to fucking get up there and get in their face. Because if you, can, if, you, if you kill their demo late, if you kill their med late, then your fast swarms are going to allow you to overwork the point in many situations. Yeah. So you have to be able to get up there. Oh, oh wow. Well. And despite having uber disadvantage, ladies and gentlemen, again, because the bad positioning and players dying when they shouldn't have by M, mm -hmm. they pushed in. The, the choice guys were able to push in and force M to Uber and yeah. kill players and get a player, player advantage. Now look at, look at Summer, what is he doing? Wow, okay. Wow, and Emma going to give a retreat. 
Okay, then. What is Gary still behind him? I, I don't get it. You see that? And Mirror is just starting to move. And league. again, more over it, more player advantage as well. Power choice guys to a cap. That's a bad thing. Wow, Commander is really bad. Yeah. yeah. He's not doing anything, like he's just rolling some dumb off class and accomplishing yeah. nothing with it. Yeah. Meanwhile, like the aggression level of the choice guys when they have an advantage is insane. Uh, the moment they know you're in the trouble, they'll, ch they'll chase you back to fucking yeah. form. Because and of because of those horrible comms, uh, they've actually uh, managed to get the medic again. I think something is worth really thinking about when you play any kind of map with a stop clock is that it's all about time. Yeah. And if the other team is able to chase you like girls back to your spawn, even if they don't kill anything, it's precious time you're eating up. Yeah. And as a result, masks are not going to cap. And well, George tried to go for the medics, but it completely missed. Not just that, but it would have been fifth class, by the way. Had a fifth class. <laughs> it's funny watching him. Pat is the main class of spot. <laughs> oh wow, they're gonna scout take right away. Alright, and the and the soldiers stand as well. And then doing engineers. Some desperation strat they haven't won? No, I, I, I think I think they've given up. Ladies and gentlemen, Dohash is going to shop show this, these guys how to spy. Yeah. So spy on. Oh, okay. Well, I think Pinkie Pie's oh, the guy who's been very vocal about the pigs and he's probably raging now. It's the only reason for why he'll go engineer. I just love the aggression out of Peanut and Kennel. They had a yeah. big opportunity yet. I mean, okay, they fucked it up, but the mentality of their soldiers is we're going to fucking chase you when you're in trouble. We're not going to run away. Oh, God, slow. Wow, good pick, good pick. So, how did you get the spy? Yeah. Well, it's not the best pick, but it does slow them down. Yeah, it does slow them down. They have a sniper as well. Oh, good pick by uh, Pinky Pie, just a medic. Matches more kind of like, yeah, off fashion to luck. But it's not going to help, I guess. They're in a bad position as well. Pants is doing nothing. Demo is just demo. It's kind of retarded. This is good though. I mean, for once, they've actually managed to win. It's a bit of a strong point. It's like, it's, like, um, it's like they tried not to take the game too literally, and they actually managed to win the point. Probably because they calmed down a little bit. And yeah. Pinkie Pie got a good shot on the med. Yeah. I think they should regroup and, uh... Chill. Yeah, just chill oh, they're, they're, they're quick aggressively and I... Oh my god, XPO. Ladies and gentlemen, another example of how dumb they are. Yeah. What actually happened there, if you look, the was... Trap? What, what was the it trap? It wasn't a sticky it? trap. Okay. They pushed their entire team on one flank when they had a crit. Mm -hmm. And... XCI, I think, was able to walk in another side and kill them with sticky. Uh, yeah. I mean, it's it's a real basic thing they forgot. If you have a crit, you want to push players in there, but you don't want to push your whole team one way. And yeah. I think XCI just muffed it in and was like, I'm going to put people behind. Explosive class. Alright, Jordis. Okay, I don't... Okay, Pinkie Pie's played the power right now. So Jordis has switched to a sniper. Okay, they've given up. And then the funny thing is, despite the fact they've given up, they're still playing better. Yeah, that's what's funny. Alright. Do you have two snipers? Is that allowed? Okay, it is probably. They don't have two snipers, they're uh, kennel sniping, it's the other thing. Alright, oh, I guess. Well, that's not. Oh, it's the other thing. Yeah. I think yeah. I'm naming my pan Will Out Among now. <laughs> I think it's a Give me a name tag. Yeah. Uh, okay, I so think I mean, it's, it's clear how uh, Mesh Fly have given up already. Mm. Which is, uh, personally, I think disgusting. It's disgusting, disgusting exactly. to give up early. Their pings are not that bad. I'm not pretty sure we're going to see them waiting after the game. We, we've given Master for some shit, and I'm sure that the people listening in the stream might think that we, we think badly of them. No, like we, 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 we have a vendetta but versus them. Well, no, we don't. But just that they're they kind of displaying some reasons. Oh, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say any of that. I would say, in my mind, they're displaying the weaknesses or the reasons that Asian TF2 really runs into war. It's they, weakness personified here. They don't seem to deal with... I mean, 
I don't know about the, the rates and emissions thing, so I'm not going to talk about it. I don't know anything about that. Sam, I can talk about it. You can all hate him. Um, 40 <laughs> seconds left. Uh, they are at Uber Charge, so it's just a big disadvantage. You, you want to notice the match as well. well. When they when they lose a lot of rapid fire, press, well, press, press, and, oh, okay, completely. Is, is that like a desperation? Yeah, desperation attack again. I'm not, I'm not even sure they consult with each other about switching to Prince. Prince just switches and right. they uh, just try to go for it. I think the thing, the thing that, that Spare and I are kind of coming from as a team here, I'm sure that he thinks Master's all full of idiots because Spam is awful and everyone hates him. But um, <laughs> as the GG comes up, possibly, that Master Pool should be able to cap yeah. and we'll carry on a little bit. Almost your whole team is um, off flashing, so. The problem is that. The, guys the, 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 the problem that we have with Master not the players, yeah. and it's not the fact that they seem to want to screw a lot to get better, that's just all admirable. Yeah. Just to the no demo. Their judgment, their mentality. Yeah, their yeah. I wouldn't comment on the mentality because I don't play with them, but yeah. they, their decisions to make in-game yeah. are consistently poor. Yeah. They don't think 3 now um, to come back, I guess, by choice to, from the first network. It's the yep. decisions they make that are letting themselves down. Yeah. When... So this is a four, oh, this is a four, isn't that right? So it's not yeah, a Yeah, it's a four, yeah. But with no soldiers, I think we can say yeah. that MS yeah. stopped caring. Um, yeah. Pinky still put off well. Cooper Pan is probably fifth or sixth. Six, probably. George playing sniper in the soldiers. And you gotta... Yep. Uh, the problem that we have is... It, it's not a, it's not even a mentality question here. It's just they. I, I don't know if M actually take the time to think about situational situations in the game. Um, what to do when you have Uber advantage? What when you do to have Uber dispatch? I, I I'm just not sure their whole team thinks about this, let alone one player. And um, there's a there's a fantastic thread by everyone's favourite Australian player, both on Asia, uh, no, sorry, no, Asia, but both of them. And he mm -hmm. says, you need to think about the game extremely specifically. That there are a few general rules, but you mm -hmm. every, every, every time you think about what to do here, what to do there, you want to be really, really specific. You want specific solutions. So, say, Granary oh, second. Yes. Granary second. You want to push inside. You want to push the house. You have an Uber advantage. Mm -hmm. Use a demo and a scout. Use a demo and a scout or a demo and a soldier together. Why? Mm -hmm. Because... You need to think about that specific situation, that specific situation, the terrain and the area as XDO somehow manages to do a demo jump and get press. Um, in that specific situation, it's very hard for a soldier to use the Uber because it's enclosed and get bounced. But True. a demo with another class following him up can use that Uber really easily and kill loads of players. Exactly, exactly. Uh, and Boat also added that after that Uber, you should probably have something chased and try and pick the med if you didn't get him or pick low HP. And have a pullback pattern so you can pullback without taking a lot of damage. Exactly. Mm. Or another another approach that uh, immunity think about is uh, when they hold Granary last to Uber disadvantage, they always try utility or they try a back tap from a position of player advantage, they force the player advantage to the players overheal, go together and try and force the back tap or try and force the jewel because it's better that you're taking an overheal jewel than trying to fight 6 to 6 with no uber charge. Sure. But sure. Uh, that kind of situational specific thinking is something that masterful don't display. And, and I don't think they have people who take charge of the situation. There's nobody at all who goes like, hey, we should push me out or whatever. It's basically, it's a. Uh, you just stand there mumble as a. Uh, the best simple way to put it is like they said, they stand their mumble. Yeah. And it's, I think it's really powerful because you and I talked a lot about this when we covered a cast together actually. Um, mm -hmm. You have to think about the game specifically. You have to think about its situation as it comes up because otherwise you'll make bad decisions. Yeah. And, uh, and so my advice to the masterful guys sitting down in this game is they need to get everyone on the same page. They need to understand advantage disadvantage and they need to agree to play together as a team. And more importantly, they need to talk about specific situations. Everyone has to understand 
that this is what we're going to do when we have an Uber charge advantage and we're attacking Granary Lama. And okay. this is why we're doing it. And the yeah. reason why we're doing it is linked to our advantage and our disadvantage. I, yeah. Otherwise, they're not going to the game for Because this is high game. It's not as magical, like, if you think about it. I've seen, like, all Asian teams, I've scrimmed, I've scrimmed with all of them, and they all seem to stand their uh, comms more than actually say something useful that can be talking too much it. because they don't, they, they don't know what, if you have if you know how the game works you will communicate in an effective way yeah this is thing that again Boat talks a lot about he's completely right if you yeah. don't know anything about the game you're going to have shit con because you're not going to know what's important to that yeah exactly standing comms and uh, having perfect comms or reporting where the enemies are doesn't make you a good player yeah it's having perfect comms is really about Effective. Uh, Just painting a mental picture of what your game enemy's knowledge. doing to your teammates, yeah. So, you know, it should be real basic. It should be the demo's here, he's taking 85 damage, I'm jumping, I'm gonna yeah. die. It should be very basic, it should be kept for minimum, it should be easy to understand, and it should yeah. always concern your advantage disadvantage. So it should be, you know, for example, let's say your medic goes, how many do we have up? And mm. someone goes, five, and then you go, no. Yeah, and then you could say, like, say you're attacking Deadland Spy, you should be like, no, I'm in pocket, I'm going to die, I'm exactly. dead. And there is a normal conversation at a high pace, yeah. That's what it is. I mean, even then, a lot of people would call that spamming the comms. But, like, uh, okay, so, so Badland Spy, you would want most of your comms to be very basic and to the point. So, yeah. you know, some, it would be simple stuff like, they're met down, we need to just hear pull up, back, heal up, push uh, Even yeah. stuff like that is often too much at times, but it's because if everyone is a good player, they should be all thinking, well, hang on, they're meds down. I'm the same uh, page, yeah. Everybody should be on the same page, yeah. And, and I'm not saying that every player should react to the same situation in the same way, but every player should understand that same situation of what advantage you have. It's so about we just, an overall we just mental killed. picture, yeah and having everyone able to access the same picture of that being told. Okay. So everyone being able to say, okay, well, we just got them, the medic on Granary Mid and our soldiers, we still have a great picture. It's oh. going to be hard for them to jump and having everyone able to buy the same picture. Yeah. Then we've yeah. got to, you know, so take everyone being able to say, okay, okay well, right. we just yeah. got them oh, shit. <laughs> medic it's on really Granary messy. Mid. I don't know where our med is. Uh, soldiers don't have the crates. Their med died. Everything in their team is going to jump up. Yeah. And then, and, and, that would probably boil down and in game to yep. uh, got their meds. They're jumping, they're jumping. Our meds not going to live. Okay. Well, uh, yeah, it is a first person shooter game. Like, we, we've we've got got to take cap. so far, but. Caps uh, go forward, take the next cap. That, that would be the, the, probably yeah. the comms from the entire team. True, true. I mean, it, it can only take you so far, but it also depends on uh, a lot of people. Uh, good Justin. Oh, God. <laughs> If you like, you can. Many people think of aim as something that allows you to get away with bad decisions. Because if you, if you make good decisions consistently, then you will probably not need to aim too much. Particularly if you have some very strong aimers on your team. All right, so that's about it, I guess. We well, don't have any more. Don't have the next game at all. You'll probably have to use. All right, you'll probably have to use a different stream channel, I guess. Tomorrow? Mm. Find out the date and that stuff. I'll be pretty busy tomorrow, so. I see. Alright, okay, I see. Oh well. Any shout out? No, man. I'm pretty annoyed by the whole the casting thing. Justin TV's pretty laggy. I'm just gonna give a shout out to Noni Hazelhurst and her cover of Go the Fuck to Sleep. <laughs> yeah. Have you seen it? It's really no. good. I highly recommend you all see it. We may even provide a link in the next cast. You should probably like close up the cast with Willow so long. Yeah, shout out to Walau Samong, which <laughs> is, uh, for those of you that have no idea what the fuck we're on about, um, <laughs> there's, a, there's a very special individual, his name is uh, Fane, and he likes shouting that whenever the hell he does something very stupid. So, <laughs> for all of you out there that do something very stupid, 
in uh, Asian TF2 and get emotional and give a bit of a wow. We are uh, we among you. Oh God, yes. <laughs> Alright, that's about it. So we have more games tomorrow. It's gonna be NFR versus PAE at 11 p.m. Um, Singaporean time, I think. GFT plus A. And possibly another game. So we'll see you then. Okay, and to add it. No. You, Virgin. Just make sure you. So is that it?